what are the two best Street Fighter characters to use in combination? <laughs> <laughs> so he asked me a hard question right out of the gate. This is going to be rough. So the, the two strongest uh, Street Fighter characters to use, I think, if I were going to give you a joke answer, if I wanted to enjoy the view, I would pick Chun-Li and Kami so I could enjoy looking at them. If I was actually going to play to win, I would go with Guile and Abel. That's a really strong, powerful combination, those two. Uh, for me, Street Fighter right now, uh, my favorite two characters are the big men. So I'm a big fan of Hugo from the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike and Zangief, uh, classic Street Fighter 2 character. I think they pair up pretty well together. And yeah, I think grapplers have never been better than they are in uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Okay, now with that, I have to ask what are the favorite uh, Tekken combination characters? I think that's going to boil down to uh, the, the, the generation of the Tekken fan. If you're an old school Tekken player, you're going to want to go with uh, uh, Kazuya and Nina. If you're one of the new guard, you're going to want to go with Jin and Xiao Yu. So it depends on when you got into Tekken. But those are both very potent combinations. Uh, right now I'm playing uh, old slash ancient guys on the Tekken side. So Hayachi is uh, sort of the father of the Mishima clan, um, central to the entire Tekken storyline, which is insane. And then Ogre. Uh, I don't want to even get into what his story is exactly, but he, he seems quite old. So Ogre and uh, Hayachi, I think, are a great place to start. Best three gem combination. Okay, so as far as the gems go, that's a much broader question. That's going to depend entirely on your play style. I think for me personally, because I tend to use Street Fighter characters, I want to do something to boost uh, uh, these Street Fighter characters and make them a little more like the Tekken guys, a little on even footing. So I would do something to boost my speed. I would use the green speed gem. But that fits my play style. The answer is going to be different for everybody, especially when you get into multiple gems. So I think for a new player, uh, gems really come down to individual style, and you'll find certain gems that fit your play style regardless of who you are uh, as you spend more time with the game. But just to get your feet wet, I think you might want to start with a basic power gem, so something that will give you a, like a, a boost in your power if you're, if you're on an offensive roll. Maybe pick a defense gem that will increase your defense, so if you're getting beat up a little bit or losing the match, that gem will activate and give you a little bit of extra D. And uh, finally, I like speed gems. They're just a lot of fun. They keep you flying around the screen. So pick a speed gem just to spice it up for some fun, and I think that's a winning combination for a new player. I want to ask about some of the Sony exclusives. Can you talk about the uh, each character and sort of their strengths? Uh, I'll start out with uh, Cole uh, from the Infamous games. This is one really powerful character. He's got projectiles, he's got anti-air moves. Uh, you know, when we have uh, tournaments in the company, uh, he always ends up at the top. So even though he's a guest character, he's really quite, quite powerful in the lineup. So next up in the lineup, we have uh, Toto and Kuro, the cat characters from Sony Japan. Uh, these are characters that appeared in a series of games in Japan that are kind of communication tools, very popular characters there. But even inside Sony, they're not very well known outside Japan. In fact, when we, we did our master submission, we got uh, a, a complaint from Sony Europe who said, hey, why are you putting the Sony logo on these Capcom characters? And I had to tell them, no, dude, those are your characters, they're not ours. They didn't even know because they're not known outside Japan. So this game gives us a good opportunity, I think, to introduce the rest of the world to Toto and Kudo. We're really happy about that. I think the Sony Japan producers are really happy about that. There's some pretty cool characters. I'm glad to get the chance to introduce Westerners to them. So last but certainly not least, in the Sony exclusive lineup, we have Pac-Man and Mega Man. These are kind of the iconic uh, representational characters, the mascots of each company. So Pac-Man is kind of a unique character. It's hard to make him just fight on his own, so we decided to make a Mokujin-style character with him, so he kind of pilots this Mokujin style robot. Um, we thought that was pretty compelling and pretty unusual. It gives us a chance to use Mokujin style controls. A lot of people like that. And plus he's Pac-Man. He looks really cool riding that. Uh, with Mega Man, the, the initial idea was to just have regular old Mega Man in there. And I talked with uh, Inafune-san, who's the, the creator of Mega Man. And I said, hey, Inafune-san, we're going to put Rockman in the game. Rockman, of course, is the Japanese name for Mega Man. And, uh, you know, being the creator, he has the, the, the right to say yes or no. And he said, no, that's not interesting. Nothing interesting about that. We've seen Mega Man in fighting games before. Give, give me something new. Give me something original. So I remembered the old, uh, the horrendous, awful, awful box art of the original Mega Man 1 in the States. I said, hey, let's take this character and we'll, we'll make it even wackier. You know, 25 years have passed since then. What happened if, you know, we'll presume this guy was 20, 25 at that time. Now he's in his 40s, almost 50. What kind of ridiculous character would he be now? He sketched up some character designs. You know, Fune's son loved it, thought it was hilarious. So that's, uh, that's what we came up with. How has uh, sort of your life changed now that you're very uh, socially involved on Twitter and that getting out into the community? How are things sort of different? 
、まあ、もう一番大きく変わったのはもう家族と出会えなくなったっていうのが一番大きいことですね。家に帰れなくなったっ。Well, I no longer get to see my family anymore because I'm traveling so much, so that kind of sucks. Another thing that's changed is I spend so much time going through immigration and customs,、uh, but it actually goes quicker now because people know who I am because I travel so much. That's kind of easy.、Uh, but the thing that's really changed the most is you know, using Twitter, using these social applications, it gives me a chance to interact with fans very directly. So, you know, some people tell me what I'm doing is good, some people use the F word to describe me, but all those opinions are really, really important to me because they're information I can use. I can take that back and I can, in real time, use that to shape the direction of what it is that we're doing. Uh, you know, you know the, the world really has changed because of social media. When someone has an idea, they have an opinion, that gets around the world now one second later and no longer takes time to get around. So I can use this information, I use it to shape what I'm doing. It's really tremendously changed the way we make games, changed the way we make fighting tools.、Uh, so couldn't, couldn't do it without the social、uh, networking, terribly important stuff.